Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to commence with the ladies' quarterfinals. Here are the 2017 BDO World Trophy. We bring to the stage a lady that reached the semi-finals of the World Trophy last year. An Isle of Man Classic and British Classic finalist. She's a reigning Europe Cup Pairs champion for her country of Wales, Rianne Griffith. We now bring to the stage a twice Lakeside World Championship semi-finalist, twice a former Dutch Open champion, the former Winmore World Masters champion from the Netherlands, Eileen de Graaf. takes to the stage against Rian Griffiths who was uh, most impressive in her victory uh, on Friday over Lorraine Wynne Stanley. She didn't just beat her 4-0, she looked very, very authoritative in so doing and I'm sure she'll be ready for this uh, particular match. Uh, Eileen de Graaf, of course, uh, a prodigious player, third, 27 years of age from Bunsholten in uh, the Dutch in the Netherlands against the 36-year-old Rianne Griffiths from Carmarthen in West Wales. And um, you may be a little surprised to know that I've got someone who's actually going to be playing a little later on, the ladies' number one seed. Thank you, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Dieter First Hedman leg, Eileen to throw first. Now, you wouldn't normally Game come on. in and, and assist with commentary if you were on, say, within the next hour or two hours. No. But you're no. not on until for another three hours <laughs> and so. One um, hundred. Uh, we're not taking you away from vital preparation. No, right? no, you're not. Otherwise, I would not be here. Of course, of course. So it's always a pleasure to have you on board. And um, your thoughts about this game? It's got the potential, of course, for being an absolute cracker. Well, if Rianne plays as well as she did at the beginning, and Aileen, then yes, it could be a very, very good game. But um, Rianne didn't start off so well this time. But as I says, every day is a different day. Well, every day is a different yeah. day. And darts, and, uh, I always say, is on the day. Mm. And she probably was, she was buzzing on that first day. It seems a long time since she played, actually, being well, one of the first ladies 48 out. 48 hours, yeah. seems like 48 weeks. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but Aileen has gone straight in, right from the off. 81. Which, of course, she so often does. She is a world-class quality player. Oh, she definitely is. But as I said, the first leg is just, 92. you know, warming your arm up. And then that's right. after the first couple of legs, then I think they'll settle down and see and fight it out, really. 100. Rianne's just getting her arm in now. But Eileen having the advantage of throw, managing to 74. leave just herself on 36. Looking for a 16 dart leg 45. to start off, hit the ground running, and away you go. Game yes, excellent. No ground. messing around Second there. And um, game on. if you can bring your practice board game, because having practiced for, a, and I was up there watching as she practiced for quite some time beforehand. Aileen always you does. Can bring it back straight down onto the stage. Yes. It helps, doesn't it? It really does. Eileen, like myself, we do practice a lot, and sometimes yeah. I think we over practice. But uh, it's work for us. You know, everybody's different. Rianne had a little practice. She didn't do too much, which is what sort of... Yes, she's now finding her footing again. And it's game on. Well, but she averaged... Uh, Rihanna, 88.41. That's a marvellous uh, 
return against uh, against uh, Lorraine Wynne Stanley. Lorraine Wynne Stanley, that's right. right. She she had the ice average of the ladies this weekend. That's uh, right. Get, it was the top average. Get, yeah, and. One hundred and twenty-five. Now she's at a nine. So if she can hold her throw and then fight it out in the last leg, Eileen won the ball. So I'd like to see how it goes to that point. But uh, let's say first game up for the ladies. You'd, it's always everything is new, always yeah, new, starting all over again. Every game is starting over again yeah. when you get up there. You've got to forget the last one. Yes. Oh, definitely. Um, it was double 18 that gave Aileen de Graaf the first leg. It wasn't. Rianne will be back. She needs to take it this time. It wasn't uh, Rianne's. Uh, 60. Rianne, you require 36. Successful double on that occasion. And isn't going to be on this. Double nine. Bit awkward. Oh, still leaves double two, 32. but uh, this is letting Aileen in. Oh, definitely. And normally when you let Aileen in, she normally takes it. Well, we'll see if you're right here, Dita. Game shot in the you're dead right. <laughs> you're played, dead right. I've played her often enough. <laughs> I know what <laughs> yes. she's like. When, <laughs> when it happens to you, you tend oh, to remember yes, yes. it, don't you? Oh, definitely. But that, that was uh, Rianne losing that. Yes. Although Aileen there was she excellent. She took her chance, that and finish. that's what it's all yeah. about. In fact... She's only had two darts so far at a double, and she's hit two doubles. So yes. that, that, you know... 140! If you want to win titles, that's the way to do it. Eileen is really up for this. 57. But uh, Rianne won't let her get away. She will. She's a fighter. She's a real fighter, and she will try and stick in. 46. Now she needs to punish that 46. Yes. That's what she's going to do by the looks of things. Oh, yeah. yes, is she just? One oh, a second 180. It's hard to believe that she's the one who's hit the two 180s. And yet, she's, she's still yet down. to win a leg. But she could do it here. That yeah. one. 140. You can always guarantee from Aileen de Graaf some sort of response, can't you? And oh, yes, yeah, she excellent. won't let you get away. She won't let you get away. She will be fighting. 100. Rianne plays her county for Pembrokeshire with um, the legend Julie Gore. She's just had a oh, knee. Oh, Julie, yes. is that right? Yes, yes. she yes. just had a knee operation and I think she's back at home now recovering. Oh, her right. Her second one, actually. Yes. Well, she's been out of the game for a little while, so hopefully she'll be back soon. 60. Is they I get well soon, Julie? Well, living in Carmarthen, she's not a million miles from Pembroke, is she? So I suppose. No. Nice part of the world. I haven't actually been there yet. Rianne, have you not? No, I haven't. I would recommend it. <laughs> Very friendly folk. Wales has got some beautiful places to visit. Top 64. Normally that's her favourite double. I think yeah. you uh, well, is, uh, is Ailing going to do what she did before? And that is... Well, step in. <laughs> That's she just, that's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> uh, she didn't intend that. Uh, no. but, she I did, but she recovered well from the double 16, didn't she? She did, but that side of the board is Eileen's favourite. If you watch when she plays, she really tend to leave the 32. Obviously the 80, she's, it's that line that you throw. But 58. Yeah, she left 48 and, 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 and uh, well, she wanted 48 after she got the 20. <laughs> was going for single 16, it went in the double, but she knew straight away what she needed, double oh, yes. eight, and in 41. it flew. Uh, and she didn't even hesitate. That's right, she's hit three doubles in four attempts now. Yes. That's brilliant effort. But 75% success rate. 125. You know, it's the Welsh girl here, Ian, who's hit the two 180s in the match, but uh, nothing to show for them. It's 60. The doubles, she had the chance, she was there. Not the first leg, but the last two legs. Yes, she indeed. had first starts at them. Yes. 100. And as I say, you've got to hit those doubles, otherwise it's, you know, it, it's the game's not over yet, obviously. She can still come back. 140. Oh, 140 there. I, I, know, I know seven legs for the ladies is very short, but 
you get a leg on the board and it kind of gives you a bit of confidence. 60. Yes, absolutely. Especially... Uh, She's got six darts here, so she needs to leave it handy. 85. Well, she leaves her 80. So this is not unlike the previous legs where Eileen actually is coming from behind and uh, Rian has let her in. Yes, she 50. definitely uh, has. Rian, you require 80. She needs to take this. 77. Oh. Ah, a bit annoying it is. Treble 19, double 10, or is she going to go treble 15? Oh, that's unlucky. It's 56 left now. So, 16 for tops. 40. Oh, well, and she's praying that Eileen doesn't take the 100 out yes, because she's yes. been very good on her finish. Ah. Two double tops. Oh, oh great really? effort. That's <laughs> what she went for there. <laughs> Well, she did. She finished the last leg with two doubles unintentionally, but there, that was most... Rianne is not confident on her doubles today. Oh, intentional. No, she's uh, no. very tight. This is, if this goes now 4-0 to Eileen, you'd have to say Rianne's throwing at the doubles has truly let her down. Double five. I fancy this. Ooh. 15. Well, uh, now she's Rianne done again. She, she had a nice... Not so much a marker as a guide to help that in. Game short, oh. the fourth leg, Rianne Griffiths. Well, fifth leg, I need to throw first. Nobody likes to be whitewashed, even though Rianne actually whitewashed Lorraine with Stanley in the opening round. She's not going to be whitewashed now, and if, perchance, she can find a way to hit 100. a couple of 180s again. She's hit two in the game, so quite capable, I'm sure, of adding to them. Against Lorraine, she was so... 100. She never veered at all from that treble or the that double. But to, as good. I said, each day is a different day. And it just 45. seems like such a long time since she played her first game. Yes, and each opponent is a different opponent. Uh, Definitely. There are those you prefer to play against and those you don't. 85. Oh, yeah, we all have our favourites and non-favourites. <laughs> Me, I'm not bothered. No. <laughs> You have got a game coming up later on, though. Yes, no? I'm uh, playing 43. the lovely Rachel Brooks. Oh, you are, and she did well in the first. I think we, you were with me when she won, weren't you? It's commentating, yes. and so you know what you're in for then, Dita. One hundred. Oh, yes, I know Rachel. Before, she's taken a little time out in doing the tour, but she's still playing. She was my peer sport. 140. So we kind of know each other's game, so... It'll be interesting, let's put it that way. <laughs> well, we wish you both the best of luck in that. We, in the commentary 100. box, have to be partisan. Um, but uh, I know we'll see a cracking game later. And uh, this game is not 16. over yet. If Rian Griffiths can here win against the throw by taking out 116, and there's a definite chance now she wants tops here. Oh, 76. long way off. But uh, Eileen, <laughs> 113 for the match. Uh, but one feels that Rian will be back, although she may not at double 18. Ooh, oh, so close, the width of the wire away from winning. The double top is normally Rian's favourite double, but she seems to be missing it miles away. No score. When your luck's not in, that's what happens. Yes, I think with double top, you've got to at least attack it so that you may end up on double 10, but oh, this yeah. double 18 will do it. Double nine. And that's the double Shots. nine she and needed. An excellent game of darts from Aileen de Graaf. And Rian Griffiths couldn't quite produce the form that she showed in the first round. It was a finishing that let her down. My uh, best wishes go to Dita. We'll be with her a lot later in the day. But uh, that means that uh, well, we've got Rian Griffiths and Aileen de Graaf. And coming up next, Wales. we've got the Welshman Rian Nick Kenny Griffiths. against Jeff Smith from Canada. Just a quick word, Eileen. Uh, I think the overriding emotion there was relief. Finally, the double. Oh my God, I was so nervous. <laughs> Watching that match, every single leg seemed to be like a match in itself. Every leg really close, and you're 3-0 up, whereas each leg could have gone either way. And then suddenly, did you start thinking the comeback might be on? Yeah, but it's just what you said. It was so close. If she 
check the double out. It's oh, it's always a difficult game against Ryan, and she's such a good player. And I have to hit my double, otherwise I'm done. I spoke to Dieter yesterday about the ladies' game and that it's not just about the top seeds anymore. Every player here is really dangerous. Uh, do you think the gap has closed between the top players and those that are sort of ranked 12, 13, 14 now? Yeah, I think that the top 16 players can win uh, from each other. So it's, it's so close and we all deserve, deserve it. <laughs> Perfect answer, Eileen. Ladies and gentlemen, she'll be speaking double Dutch as she moves into our semi-finals tomorrow. Come on, let's hear it for Eileen Tkraft.